A reading from the book of Exodus. The whole Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to him, Would that we have died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread? But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day, the people are to go out and gather their daily fortune. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, in the evening twilight, you shall eat flesh. And in the morning, you shall have your fill of bread so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a Jew lay all about the camp. And when the Jew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the Israelites asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. We have heard and known, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and His strength and the wonders that He wrought. Commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained manna upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance. And he brought them to his holy land, to the mountains his right hand had won. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I declare and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. That is not how you learn Christ, assuming that you have heard of him and were taught in him as truth is in Jesus, that you should put away the old self of your former way of life, corrupted through deceitful desires, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and put on the new self, created in God's way, in righteousness and holiness in of truth. The word of the Lord. But every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were at the place where Jesus had eaten the bread, they too embarked in the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, I assure you, you are not looking for me because you have seen signs, but because you have eaten your fill with the loaves. You should not be working for perishable food, but for food that remains unto life eternal. Food which the Son of Man will give you. It is on Him that God the Father has set the seal. At this they said to Him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus replied, This is the work of God. Have faith in the one He sent, so that He can put faith in you. They asked Him, What sign are you going to perform for us to see? What is the work you do? Our ancestors ate manna to eat in the desert. According to scripture, he gave them bread from the heavens to eat. Jesus said to them, I solemnly assure you, it was not Moses who gave you bread from the heavens. It is my Father who gives you the real heavenly bread. God's bread comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, give us this bread always, they besought him. Jesus explained to them, I myself am the bread of life. No one who comes to me shall ever be hungry. No one who believes in me shall thirst again. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever felt frustrated? No? When you feel frustrated, Sometimes you become angry. When you're frustrated, you're not in the mood. If somebody just talks to you, you attack right away because you react to whatever the person says. You kind of shut them down. Doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. You don't become Christ-like. The feeling of frustration. The Israelites were frustrated, as we heard in the first reading today. And as a result of this frustration, they grumble, they complain, they murmur. Why? Because, Lord, we've been going through all these hardships. Give us at least food, manna. But the Israelites forgot that their past life, when they were still in slavery, that was worse than what they were going through at this moment. How quick for them to forget how the Lord, how God guided them and led them from slavery out of Egypt. Because they didn't get what they wanted, they grumbled, they complained. And we know the rest of the story in the first reading. The Lord heard their cries and manna from heaven appeared and they were able to eat. They were able to satisfy their needs. And sometimes we can be like the Israelites. We, we are frustrated, we grumble, we complain. We don't get what we want. So the reading today is really encouraging us to look at the events in our lives with a new way of looking. You know, what St. Paul said in the second reading today too, that we abandon our old self with our faith in God, with our faith in Jesus, we need to look at the events, realities in our life through that lens. Otherwise, we could be like the Israelites. They were just on this super, superficial level, as I mentioned a few Sundays ago. In the gospel again, you know, we heard the disciples followed Jesus not because they truly recognized Him as a Savior, but because they were fed, the multiplication. And so then Jesus mentioned to them, now look for food that doesn't perish. And they said, Lord, give us this food. And then Jesus said, I myself am the bread of life. No one comes to me shall ever be hungry. No one who believes in me shall thirst again. But you see, to truly enter into a relationship with Jesus takes time. It is a process. And sometimes in our own prayer life, 
when we don't get what we want, we grumble. We say we want something that, you know, uh, helps us solve our problems right away. A few days ago, I ran into this shirt clip from America Magazine. It's a weekly newspaper, a Catholic uh, uh, magazine by Father James Martin. And he introduced and offered this prayer to frustrated Catholics. And I'd like to play this six-minute video as a way of inviting all of us, you know, praying with Him. And Lord, if we are in that situation, give us the grace to rise above that. So God, that truly in all the challenges that we face as a person, as a community, as a church, all of this, we have a new way of looking at things. Because, as St. Paul says in the second reading, because of our faith, in Jesus Christ. Let us all stand now and profess that faith. 